Okay. Hello, everyone. So, like I said, you know, looking ahead at what we're doing tonight, this is going to be an interesting chapter. Uh, if you happen to be new here, uh, fair warning, this game is very fucked up. We're going to be dealing with some heavy topics tonight, especially when we get to Nimdok. Also, uh, I am streaming on the Steam Deck. As you can see, there's some black borders that I can't get rid of, and I'm too lazy to trim in the scenes. Whoops. What the fuck happened to my background? Right, let me get the right background up real quick. Ooh, I forgot something. Yeah, good enough. So, streaming from a Steam Deck. I'm probably going to stream most, if not all, PC games going forward from the Steam Deck, or Steam Deck, because it's just convenient. And I'm playing with a controller. Because fuck it, I can do that if I want. So, Benny. Benny! You know, you've always been my favorite torture tool. Well, I'm giving you now chance to stoop to new lows, to give in to your uh, bestial desires. I'm going to let you find some food to eat. I'll even repair your brain so that you can think normally again and savor the horror of your repast. This cavern isn't like any of the others Am has sent me to. It's full of life, not death. Yeah, um... Benny did not start out as a monkey. Right, this is what I should have been doing for the uh, previous chapters. Yeah, uh, it's explained a little bit more in the short story and probably even more in the book. And again, I didn't know about the book until... Uh, Sorrel brought it up last time. Yes, Benny has returned to Monkey. Okay, uh, cultural reference. Cannibalism has been practiced by a number of cultures throughout human history, usually to denigrate enemies or to acquire the qualities of victims. I was not expecting to see that right away. Attempt to walk either way on the stairs. Am, you son of a bitch! You've cleared my mind, but crippled my legs. I can barely walk! Was... Okay, uh, someone needs to edit that scene so that way when Benny lands is in the Family Guy death pose. Okay, head towards the caves in the back. I haven't eaten for months. The smell of food cooking nearby only makes it hurt worse. Has eaten in months. Uh, how long can you go without eating before you just straight up die? Isn't it like a week? Into the second cave. Impressive. Someone important must live here. Okay, examine everything in here and speak to the Elder. There's a video screen built into the cave wall. Yes, I, I know Benny's inside a machine. I'm just curious what the actual limit is. A bag. Maybe there's food in it. This old fart looks too scrawny to be gathering nuts and berries. He must be the village elder or something. Speak to the elder. Wita Fuma Piba. I can't understand his language, but he seems to be welcoming me to the village. Use the vault monitor to view properly. Hey! Ignore the newcomer! Gather the villagers at the altar tomorrow to choose a sacrifice. I have spoken. Uh, 
to probably loot the cave. I suppose I can save now. Follow the path to the far right. A fruit tree. It's been years since I've tasted real fruit. Am once coaxed me into marching across a thousand miles of ice to reach a stockpile of canned peaches, only to discover that he didn't give me a can opener. That is straight out of uh, the short story. Isn't there a Happy Tree Friends episode that does that too? I don't know. I don't expect any of you to have watched Happy Tree of Friends. I don't even know what I saw on that show. I liked it at one point, but trying to watch it again, I realized it's just bad. It's not even funny. It's just... Essentially gore porn. Just without the porn part. Uh, take some fruit from the tree. Wait. You can go an entire month without eating? God, I, I can't even imagine going a single day without eating. I need food. Oh, uh, actually, speaking of, I have discovered something. When I'm upset, I stress eat. If I'm upset or really anxious, I'll just constantly grab snacks and just shovel them down. Yeah, you need... I... Okay, I'm assuming a whole month without food, but also drinking water. Because water won't satiate you, but you literally will die without any kind of fluid. Speaking of water, nobody's redeemed to hydrate, but I'm gonna have a sip. Back to my second bottle of water today. I've been drinking. I mean, I've been hydrating. Alright, that's that hydrate taken care of. Uh, Xeno or Sorrow, either one of you. Are the hydrates showing up in the, uh... What's it called? The, requ the request queue? Because if so, I need to change a setting on them to skip that. What am I doing again? Follow the path to the far right, take some fruit, grab another piece of fruit. Return to the caves. Okay. Let me see anyways. Enter the third cave. One, two, three. Some kind of dwell. I don't want. Okay. This looks like a. What did they used to call them? Single parent household. Probably depend upon the generosity of the rest of the village. Friggin' welfare parasites. Dude, you're a literal monkey. You don't get to talk. There they are. Uh... Alright. Uh, towards the end of stream, if one of you guys could, uh, clear the queue again, and, uh, I'll change the settings so the hydrate and posture check don't, uh, just skip the request queue, because they don't need to be there. Because I can't see the request queue... Not normally, and those are for me, those aren't for you guys. No, I mean, if there's a hydrate, you all should hydrate too, you know. Need that, was it dihydrogen monoxide? Whatever it's called. Into the third cave, give the fruit to the boy. Give fruit to child. 
Oh, thank you for food. I am very hungry. Where can I get some food? There is fruit in Food Cave. It comes from the trees. I tried eating the fruit. It only made me sick. You bleed when you eat. When I was young and not so different, my mother chewed it for me first and then fed me. You look like you don't eat very much. Mother and I are not allowed in Food Cave. Villagers are afraid of me and let me starve. How are we able to talk? I learned to talk using AM screen. I am smart, but villagers think smart is defective. I wish I were strong, so then they would give me food too. Defective? That's tough. Sometimes, but I am spared lottery. Villagers are afraid of me. Lottery? What lottery? Villagers hold lottery to choose sacrifices to Am. Reminder that the word lottery does not actually only have to do with uh, stuff like uh, Powerball. Lottery is anything that involves randomly drawn tickets. Uh, Zeno, that's a good point. Well, I mean, I do have those cheap for a reason, but that is a good point. Uh, guess whatever. How long have these sacrifices been going on? The sacrifice to Am Machine goes on many long years. The very different must go to him soon. Not many villagers left. Why do they sacrifice their own people to Am? One is sacrificed, so Am does not hurt all. What are these sacrifices like? The sacrifice to Am hurts very bad. There are better ways to die. Almost any way is better. Did they just pull some kid off the street or something? I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. Alright. Save. Okay, fruit boy, talk to boy, exit, return a fruit tree and grab another piece. Alright. Enter the third cave again. This is the cave where- For five! <laughs> Give the fruit to the mother, and she'll chew and regurgitate it into your mouth for you. Speak to the boy again and tell him you're tired. So, what am I doing? I am... Bow. Bruh. We're not going through that shit again. Bruh. I already forgot what I'm supposed to do. Give fruit to the mother. Alright. Give fruit. <coughs> Amazing. This woman digested the food and then regurgitated it back to me, like a bird feeding its young. I would like to never witness that again. I don't like the instant smile he got from that. So this is the boy again. <sighs> I am getting very tired. I swear to God, hey, if I, I fucking yawn because you of that. You use our bed. Go sleep. Boy again, do, do, do. He's been on the floor in the cave. <sighs> oh, that sleep wasn't nearly long enough. 
Hmm, I wonder where the boy's mother went. So, sleeping again actually ends the scenario. Boy, once you wake up, where is your mother? She go to altar to help choose Am's sacrifice. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. All right, leave the cave. The village is quiet today. Too quiet. All the paths south. Why is everyone gathered around the altar? Alright, this dude here, the way he's dressed. It's kind of weird. Or kind of. Not weird, but oddly. He looks like he, he does BDSM or something. That's hot. Titties out. Oh, yeah. Cover them up, slut. To the elder and ask him if you can watch the sacrifice. Also, as I'm reading the uh, guide, I sh I'm gonna try to not spoil what's about to happen as I read it out loud, but it's easier for me to process information if I read it out loud because then I hear myself say it as I say it. So, okay, speak to the elder. The elder. Yes. Who? Tada, Cho Shama Am. Looks like some kind of lottery. That's the mutant child's mother. Cho Shanan. It looks like she's been chosen to be sacrificed. Asking to eat the mother will end the scenario. Wita Fuma Piba. It sounds like he'll let me watch. Amvila Tajo. I am Am, the Great and Powerful. Uh, you didn't bring me Toto, but I accept the Chosen One. You shall not feel my wrath today. Am I swell or what? Judas Priest! Am blasted her to bits! What am I going to do for food now? There's some... Meme potential here. Also, is, is Judas Priest an actual saying? I thought that was a band. Same with the debris on the ground. There's burnt plastic and twisted metal where bits and pieces of the woman should be. I wonder if they're going to bury the remains. How do I get out of here? Right. Into the head left to the first area where we fell down the stairs at the start. Walk to the right towards the graves. This graveyard gives me the creeps. I feel as though the dead could speak.
This is the grave of Murphy, one of my old commandos, killed in the war. This is Tuttle's grave. He lost his life while under my command. Thomas is buried here. I'd almost forgotten my life in the army before Am came to power. You left me for dead in the field. The bullet in my brain came from your gun. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Give us proof of your newfound empathy. My tour of duty was almost over. But because I knew your secret, you held my head under the paddy water until I drowned. Your secret died with me, and soon it will die with you. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Show us that you're able to think of someone other than yourself. I tried to help Brickman, but you'd have none of that. If you couldn't carry your own weight, then you were worth more dead than alive, and anyone willing to carry some extra weight was a liability. What can I do to prove that I am a different man? Give us evidence that you have some sympathy for others. Okay, do. Leave the area and head all the way back to the third cave. I'm sorry. Your mother is dead. I know. Me sorry, too. She only wants to care for me. Except you. What will happen to you? No food. No safe room lottery. Either way, not good. Why don't you run away from here? Bad idea to run. Villagers hunt me down. Become sacrificed to Am Machine. Are the victims buried in the graveyard? I know nothing about graveyard. I can't care for you. I have my own problems. You care. You may not do anything, but you care. Me no. I wish I could stop the lottery from taking place. Many villagers go to old man for ideas. Too bad he not friend. Look, I'll do what I can, but no promises. Thank you. I promise for you. Okay, do into the Elder's Cave. This is where the The village elder must be out gathering food. This is the cave where... Oh. This is not a good hiding place. I don't think he understands what I'm trying to say. 
I stole the lottery bag from the village elder. You brave. You have lottery bag. But you must hide it or they find. Out of reach, like most things Am tempts me with. Ah, mana from heaven. I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. Hmm. Show the lottery bag to Thomas. I have the lottery bag. No more villagers will be sacrificed. You proved that you're capable of caring for others. And that's worth something. Place the lottery bag into the earth. We will guard it. We forgive you for what you've done to us. But we can't speak for your most tragic victim. Brickman's grave is under those vines. Here it is, Brickman's grave. Hello, Commander. I'm not exactly happy to see you again. I last saw your face just before I got it right between the eyes. I don't blame you for hating me, Brickman. You don't blame me? You did this to me. You murdered me because I didn't measure up to your standards. Then you killed the witnesses. I stopped the lottery from happening. Doesn't that prove I now have compassion? You might have changed for the present, Commander. But you still have crimes in the past to account for. What can I do to make amends to you, Brickman? You have to bury the past, Commander. I have something to plant on your grave. Last, some compassion. Now I can finally rest in peace. Oh, good God, who is messaging me? to the caves. Is that fire? The boy's still here. I wonder when the next sacrifice will be. Okay. The village elder must be out looking for his lottery bag.
gather the villagers at the altar tomorrow to choose a sacrifice or suffer the wrath of Am. There's a video. Okay. I buried the lottery bag where no one will ever find it. No lottery means new way to choose victim. I'm more scared now. Am wants to have a sacrifice tomorrow, even with the lottery bag missing. Why don't you hide in the hole, just in case? I'm afraid of hole. Need friend to hide with. You too big to go in hole. All my friends are far away from here or dead. I have no friends to hide with you. Me good idea. I make friend and then I hide. You help me. What can I do to help you make a friend? I need head for friend. I'll see what I can find. Oh, Christ. I just read what the solution to this is. Here's an interesting piece of junk. Funny. I had lost interest in anything that wasn't edible until I met the boy. There's burnt plastic and twisted metal where bits and pieces of the woman should be. I wonder if they're going to bury the remains. There's burnt plat. Nothing but twisted. There's burnt plastic and twisted metal. Well, there's supposed to be a skull here. I'm assuming that's the junk. This is... from heaven. It's a goddamn supermarket! I think he wants me to put my fruit into a basket. Blondie won't let me touch any of the food. A polished piece of wood. The villagers must use this for pulping the fruit. I know someone who might like a piece of polished wood. Okay, okay, here's another piece of fruit to add to the collection, as if they need it anymore. I can't eat it anyway. Looks like it's empty. Hmm. 
Hm? There's a loose wire among these vines. I don't think he understands what I'm trying to say. I found this piece of junk at the altar. It looks kind of like a head. Thank you. I can use this to make doll's head. I found a piece of wood that could be used for a body. Thank you. I can use this to make doll's body. I found a piece of wire. Thank you for help with doll. Me go play in hole. Is in the hole? It's about time you hit the kid. I was beginning to have my doubts about whether you'd make it this far, even with my help. Are you M? Heavens no. I used to work for him, but now I'm working for the Russian. Who is the Russian? Why, he's the one who's been helping you out. You didn't think Am would give the child the ability to make a translator out of this video screen, did you? You know who I am? Of course. I know all about your adventures in the village. They're a crazy bunch here with that lottery and all. How can you help me? Now that you've shown your comrades that there's some hope for you, you should work on the person you wronged the most. I've been Am's prisoner for more than 100 years. Why help me now? You and the rest of the humans are in serious trouble. Am's a big boy now, much meaner and smarter than when he first started his tortures. What's the use of helping me if Am's so damned invincible? The Russian and the Chinese have been acting in concert to make it possible for you and the other humans to succeed in Am's newest game. If you join them, you can defeat Am. Wait for your cue. Thanks for your help. No response. Use the monitor one last time, go to sleep on the bed. I wonder how the boy is doing in that hole. The boy's gone. The villagers must have found him. Yeah, I mean, he... There's a giant gaping hole here that's kind of hard to miss. The village is quiet today. Too it's quiet. quiet time, baby. Should I have, like, a redeem for the Soviet anthem or something as a joke? If I get a stream deck, not a steam deck, a stream deck, I should, uh, use that. Bank. Damn! M must have told the villagers where I hid the lottery bag and the boy. Natana Shama Holt! They're going to sacrifice the boy unless I think of something quick. Asking to eat the boy will end the scenario. The Elder seems amazed that I would show compassion to the boy, but I think he's going to go for it. Why, the boy's giving me his doll. Gratitude for being spared the pain of being sacrificed. Uh, Benny, no. how many arms you More got More than there? gratitude. Compassion. For me. Benny. <laughs> 
I send you out among the prey. And instead of indulging your hunger to keep me amused, you show them compassion! You should know better by now. Your reward will be more years of searing, blistering anguish, Benny. Who among you shall go next? I mean, I do have enough time to finish the game tonight. Save. Alright, we're doing Nimdok now. So, uh, once again, Nimdok, content you warning. Are a kindred spirit to me. Even if you don't realize it fully yet, you must sense it there in your blood and fiber. I've constructed an adventure of sorts to revive your failing memory. I want you to find the lost tribe of humanity <laughs> and continue. Eminent scientific research. This compound looks familiar. But why would Arm bring me here to look for a lost tribe? There are gates and fences. Who could be lost in such a secure area? No, little German boy. Don't go to the weed cave. Oh my god, this is like a cave full of blood smoking. No! Oh! Oh, by the way, um, if you have a Steam Deck, you can actually redeem, uh, points to get some different color schemes for the keyboard, and obviously I went for the rainbow one to just, you know, get it up. You can redeem them in the points shop. You can only do that if you actually have a Steam Deck, because I think you have to have a deck in order to access that screen. Alright. So if I remember Ted's scenario, I might be able to speedrun it, but I'm not going to, because... Uh, that'll be a refresher, since that's what I did last time. Or the first time. Speak to the guard standing next to the gate. You must let me leave. I have urgent business elsewhere. I cannot let you pass, Doctor. You're due in surgery. Dr. Mengele's orders. Look at the gate. Apparently, this is the only access to the dirt road. Speak to the prisoner on the other side of it. Why are you imprisoned here? You have the features of a man of intellect. Is this an official interrogation, Nimdok? Or are you mocking me? You know me? I thought I did. Until you had me arrested for refusing to condone your experiments. Experiments? I know nothing of experiments. Your sense of humor is as sick as your methods, Doctor. How can you act so innocent after having maimed or killed hundreds since the name of science? You are saying we were colleagues of some kind? Ridiculous. There's no need to distance yourself from me. I was once your friend, now I am your enemy. Why would I bother to have you imprisoned like this? The regime needed answers, but I stood in your way. Well, now you have them. Do you know of the lost tribe? I must find it. Haven't you taken enough subjects for your experiments, Doctor? Or are there more mass graves to fill? I know nothing of what you talk about. This conversation is over. Okay. Go into the hospital building. Where have you been, Nimdok? We are waiting on you to perform. You were waiting for me? I am sorry that I will not be able to assist in the operation. After all, this may be the last opportunity we have together before the end of the war to finish our research. Ah, yes, the research. 
Let us talk about this research. We will have time for that after the surgery. Meet me at the complex later. A youth with 1945 stamped beneath. There is something familiar about this. Finally, Doctor. Everyone's waiting on your expertise. So yeah, uh, this scenario is not pretty. Just, just in case you didn't know. What am I to do? Ah. You are testing me because I'm new here. Today's procedure requires the removal of the lower section of the subject's spinal cord. I cannot carry out this procedure. I can see that you don't look well, Doctor. If necessary, Dr. Mengel can take over for you. I'm sorry, Doctor. The ether is necessary for the surgery. Guards, come here quickly. Dr. Nimdok has gone berserk. I must leave before the guards apprehend me. I don't even know if a scalpel would make for an effective weapon. I guess they are pretty sharp. Not much range though, so you'd have to get in really close. The dude just kind of let me do that though, so maybe he just wanted to die. Who knows? Alright, take the easier. This must be the recovery room. He was scared? I mean, sure. This patient has been too damaged by his surgery to live a normal life. This patient will never recover. It is difficult to see what purpose this surgery serves other than to mutilate the patient. I smell burnt flesh, but this is obviously not a kitchen. You guys figured out where this is yet? Ten guesses and the first nine don't count. According to these records, Hundreds of corpses were incinerated here. Wait, that, that's a real person? Alright, like, admittedly, I do not know that much about the specific uh, historical event. I don't know specific names other than the, the big ones. That is not a name I'm familiar with. I know it was bad. That, that, that's about it. Okay, well, apparently my history teachers failed to mention that name. Okay, that name I do know. I do know of the Angel of Death. I didn't realize that was him. 
Take the pliers and gold watch on the desk. Make sure to read the medical records. Open the door and go outside. Okay, this is, I think, where I screwed up before, because I missed a step. Okay. Speak to the prisoner caught in the fence. How could you so foolishly be caught in the fires? I was trying to escape, but I was so weak. I fell and got caught. Why do you risk escaping in such poor physical condition? That timing was hardly of my own choosing. I learned that I was to be among the next batch of volunteers. For what were you being given the privilege to volunteer? Experimentation, they say. Extinction is more like it. Surely you of all people know the regime's plan for the lost tribe. There is nothing I can do for you. You can at least help me end my misery. That would give you the pleasure of seeing another one of us die, you cold-hearted bastard. Oh, that feels much better. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I heard this in the hospital when the doctor thought I was sleeping. Waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. He is free, but he has lost consciousness. There is an inscription on the watch, but it is written in Latin. I hope you are happy with the regime that you set up. Your science could have saved the world. Instead, it conquered it. What is the importance of the year 1945? It seems to have some significance. Never forget the year 1945, Nimdok. That was when the truths about you and your unholy experiments came out. I seem to recall that you speak Latin. What is engraved on this watch? The engraving says time is truth. And since your time is running out, I'll keep the watch. I am starting to recall that you do have cause to hate me. You want to make amends? Get me out of here. Give him the pliers. Yeah, you should be able to escape with this. Pliers for cutting the wires? Yes, I think this would make escape possible. But don't think that one good deed will make up for all those poor innocents you butchered. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand the logic with the game's puzzles here. What you're supposed to do is go against what Am has plans for you. Gorser has to find the truth of what happened to his wife so he no longer has cause to kill himself. Ellen has to face her fears and uh, move on from her past. Benny has to resist his primal instincts and uh, be compassionate for once in his life. Nimdok has to cope with and make amends for what he did in uh, World War II. I'm assuming it's World War II. I mean, as far as where the present is with the game. 
and Ted has to succeed in protecting someone for once in his life. Yeah, well... Okay, yes, obviously it's World War II. I don't know why I worded it that way, but... It's all about going against what Am wants for the characters. So now that I understand that the puzzles make a little more sense, the problem is, uh, with so many variables here, it's still very easy to lock you lock yourself out of lock yourself out of a scenario without realizing it. I mean, he he does describe himself as swell, so that is the thing. Who keep it? Given the players, and make your way through the building and into the surgery room. The extinction of the Lost Tribe is near at hand. The Regime shall vanquish all of its enemies. I'm taking an awfully long time to, uh... ...arrest me. Speak to the new patient. What have you done to deserve removal of your eyes? Please disconnect the wires. This should ease your suffering. The things I see now, a trinity of three beasts, one like us, one from the east, one from the steppes. They speak in numbers. A lost tribe of our brothers sleeping on the moon. They sleep in darkness, unseen by the beasts. Such a vision, so tiring. I have to uncomfortable to think about. Yeah, I'm not very squeamish when it comes to violence or gore in video games. Eye trauma, on the other hand, really gets under my skin. But I think it's like a universal thing. Right, leave towards the recovery room. Speak to the child. How are you feeling? I feel okay. I'm not hurt like the others here. Do you know who I am? You are Nimdok? You are more frightening in person than in legend. What do you know of me? The things you do are terrible. We small ones are your lab rats. Are you saying that the doctors here have been using children for experimentation? No, not all the doctors. You and Dr. Mengele sent all the good doctors to the prison yard. So, I am a legend to you. Yes, but we have our own legends. Legends that owe nothing to your regime. You will fail, no matter how many of us you cut apart. Is this the same voice actor as the kid from the other scenario? Why do you say that oh, the regime will fail? The golem will finish you. It will not be mastered by your regime. The golem will wake up, and when it sees with its own eyes the evil you have done, it will turn on you and save us. Get some rest. We will not rest until your regime is destroyed. Where did the music stop? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Make your way back to the first building room of the building with the poster. Emergency! The prisoners have seized the compound. Gather all research materials and evacuate to the bunker. Evacuate! Alright. Take the box on the desk. Place the jar in the 
box. It is safely hidden in the box. Sure about that, buddy? And it seems like it's bigger than the box. Or taller than the box. Leave out the front door. A sock chat or stock chattering sound. Talk to the recently escaped prisoners about making amends for your past. You must let me go. With these materials, I may be able to remedy the atrocities I have committed. You can't fool me, Nimdok. You are an unredeemable butcher. But you are one of us, like it or not. Why do you say that I am one of you? You denied your heritage and turned your own parents into the regime. But you're still a member of the Lost Tribe. And that makes your crimes all the more heinous. Does that mean you will allow me to go? Since you did help us to escape, we'll give you a head start. Then we'll hunt you down and kill you like the dog you are. I must leave this place. It seems I was once the wolf. Now, I am the quarry. Faces! Faces of people in torture! I have not seen so many corpses since... Ugh! My memory is not what it used to be. I know this place. Some of my greatest accomplishments were made here. The message reads, cease all work on Project Perfect Image. Confidential. The leader is dead. Having looked on the face of the future, using the prototype device. This leaves the regime ripe for invasion. Destroy all work in progress. Good this technology must not be allowed to fall into the hands of the enemy. Thank God, I am in streamer mode. Why am I still getting Discord notifications? More for Genix. The ability to reorganize DNA at will. Did Arm discover my work in this area? Is this how he was able to alter Benny and play other cruel tricks on the rest of us? More for... More for... Legends are true. This must be the golem of lost tribe folklore. What is this mirror doing here? This golem appears to be made of steel and molded clay. These eyes fit into the golem's sockets perfectly.
the man caught in the barbed wire said to waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. Gollum, wake up. Time is truth. Nothing happened. Gollum, wake up. The truth is that for me, it shall always be 1945. Gollum, follow me into the laboratory. Nimdok, I was afraid I had lost you back there. It is good to see you and our new friend. How did you escape the mob? Did you forget that the compound has a secret escape route? Well, no matter. I see that you have revived the Golem. You know about the Golem? Of course! Part of the master plan is to strip the Lost Tribe of everything, even their folklore. I read the teletype. What is Project Perfect Image? That was a secret project in the area of reflective surfaces. It bestows the clarity to see yourself with utter objectivity. Unfortunately, it worked too well. You mean that it worked well enough to drive the leader into committing suicide? The leader's death is a serious blow to us all. But our golem is more than powerful enough to destroy the lost tribe. Excuse me, doctor. I need to get a breath of fresh air. Oh my god! No! Gollum, follow me outside. Nimdok. I knew that you would lead us to where the regime would resume its atrocities. We are here to make you pay for what you did to us. To pay in blood. Golem, guard the bunker entrance. I will return. What did you see in the mirror? I saw my own soul, Nimdok. It was so black, that mirror. You must destroy it before it undoes us all. Excuse me, Doctor. Don't give in to them. With the serum, we can live forever. The research was valid and warranted. Don't give them the golem. Have it kill them instead. Golem, guard the bunker entrance. I will return. Don't give in to them. Golem. Oh my god! No! I don't have the option to transfer control.
Golem. Alright. I'll do a thing. It automatically opens up the dialog box. Come so I have to look at these things again. Give me a sec here. More for Genix. The ability to reorganize DNA at will. Did Arm discover my work in this area? Is this how he was able to alter Benny and play other cool? What is this go? Column. This. This. The man. Gollum, wake up. Time is truth. The truth is that for me, it shall always be 1945. Gollum, you are to obey all my orders. Gollum. Nimdok, I was a. So, the guide has missed a step, and that was my problem. Oh my god, it is true. 1945, turning my Jewish parents over to the Nazis for extermination. I have found the lost tribe. It is me. How did you escape? You know. I read. You mean. I look. Now I know mm, how that. Am was able to keep us alive for so many years. Your use serum can sustain us forever. We have all the time we need to resurrect the regime. Excuse me, Doctor. I need to get a breath of fr I do not know. Oh my god! No! Gollum, follow me outside. Nimdok, I knew that you would lead us to where the regime would resume its atrocities. We are here to make you pay for what you did to us. To pay in blood. Gollum, I transfer control of you over to the Lost Tribe. So, you admit your crimes. But that does not release you from punishment. Now the golem will serve the purpose for which it was constructed. Golem, kill Nimdok! Not 
as alike as I thought you'd duck. <laughs> a spark of humanity somewhere. Always that wretched little spark. You, you've confronted your past, but you refuse to continue your research. <laughs> That's what I asked you to do. Since you now identify with your victims, I suppose it's only right that I let you experience their tortures, too. Ah. You're the last player in my little game. I guess we I are finishing this tonight. Do not fail, as the others have failed. Hey, you're my favorite, baby. I mean it. I really can't stand all the rest of these people. Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiners, freaks, crips, cowards, every one of them. But not you, Ted, no, man, not you, Ted. You were a stand-up guy. You were a brave guy, yes. A take-charge kind of guy. So I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out, live some kind of life. I'm going to send you, you're going to like this, I'm going to send you to the Room of Dark. And if you can solve the puzzle of the Room of Dark, you're home free. You out. You're away. Well, now, I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared. Your friend. 109 years. I'm your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the room of dark and you can solve its mystery. Video screens. Each one shows a scene of some other place. Why? What mystery does Anne want me to solve? Say, these video screens have palm print switches next to them. What sort of intrigue is Anne plotting this time? She's left me here alone. Still, I feel as though I'm being watched. even larger than those of Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. This gargoyle is... <laughs> so typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. A beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Uh, Appearance is everything. I never realized that a knight's armor was so heavy. How were they ever able to fight? This door looks built to withstand quite a determined assault. So many women have called me their knight in shining armor. Never Ellen. Why, that maiden looks just like Ellen. She seems so sad and so beautiful. Why, it's Ellen! Did Am tell her that I loved her? Was that the secret he was referring to? Seen all this before, but this was over a month ago, or basically a month ago. Oh, Ted, I feel so tired, so weak. Did Am do this to you? Yes, maybe. I, I can't tell. They whisper in my ear, and this bed is so soft. Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. 
I haven't been out of this bed in ages. Do you know if there's a way to escape from this place? I searched the entire castle grounds before I fell ill. There's no escape for me but death. No, I won't let you die. I can't take this suffering anymore, Ted. The things I've endured help me to die with dignity. Don't let anyone violate me again, not even in death. No, don't go. I need you. We need you. If you really care for me, Ted, bring me my hand mirror. Why do you want a mirror? My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. She had something to do with my illness. I know it, but she doesn't dare come near me while I have the mirror. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to me. Perfume bottles, jewelry boxes, but no mirror. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. I looked on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. There is an evil in this room. I feel it all around me. Why, this is a collection of books on the black arts. There Might must not seem be tonight, dozens huh? of volumes. Okay. This is a catalog of the demons ruling the abyss. One of these entries is circled. Sir God, opener of locks. Hope you feel better, huh? Supposedly, he can open anything. Mm, too bad I can't read Arabic. From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of any of these formulas. This looks like a chapel, but there's something unholy about it. It must be the gargoyles. I think I actually remember how to do this scenario without the guide. It's almost perfectly. This must be the bedroom of the lord of the castle. I know this story. It's about a magician who sells his soul to the devil in exchange for power. I've read this novel. It's about a foolish old man who believes he's a knight destined to revive the golden age of chivalry. First passage reads, My new wife continues her rapid aging. Each day is as a year to her. I believe that the magic drains her, twists her. The second passage reads, The incantations I hear from my wife's infernal workroom are the purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there. The third passage reads, Ellen grows weaker and weaker. 
My wife advises an antidote to her illness, but it lies very far away. I must assemble a caravan. The final passage reads, The forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my marriage. I doubt that even with a full complement of men I shall return alive, but I must try. This was you feel better favorites. soon, hon. Drink lots of fluids. It's about how King Arthur assembled soup. the most chivalrous knights in all Europe. Yeah, you know, all that good stuff. This is Plato's dialogue about the nature of love. I know this. It's Dante's epic journey through hell, heaven, and purgatory. I should read the Divine Comedy. Despite the medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. This is a place where servants do all the work. Excuse me, do you work here? Why, of course I work here. Why else would I be plucking this chicken? Say, you're a handsome gent. There aren't many men left in these parts. What happened to Ellen? Lady Ellen? Oh, she's been ill and that's all I know. It's not healthy to ask too many questions these days. Let's talk about you instead. Is there a way to escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the castle. The beds are very cozy. You should try mine sometime. Where is Ellen's stepmother? I must speak with her. A word to the wise. Keep your nose out of the old woman's business unless you want it covered with warts. I wouldn't want to see any arm come to that gorgeous face of yours. Where can I find a mirror? What do you want with a mirror? Those are pretty rare. What with an ugly woman in charge of the castle? Please, I need to find a mirror. And you are what I need. I'll make a deal with you. I will tell you where you can find a mirror if you spend some quality time in my bed. That's a flattering offer, but I'm not interested. I'll give you what you need. Hasn't it been too long for you? Sorry, but it's out of the question. What's the matter? Aren't I good enough for you? Not classy enough? Not rich enough? I'm sure you're a fine woman, but my heart belongs to another. So, you're in love with that thing sleeping in a bed? Have you ever been with one? Or are you just curious? I can make you so much happier. I can, you know. Look. I am not going to make love with you. Oh, all right. I have another deal for you. The oven is the work. same as no such thing as female fix it, I'll get you a mirror. Though, uh, my Shiranui from, uh, King of Fighters. Ah, there's... Kind of proves that problem. wrong. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. It's been so long since I've gotten dirt under my fingernails from good, honest work. I don't like getting dirt under my fingernails. I don't really do work with my hands, though. That's not really what I do. I fixed your oven. Now oh, where right, is the mirror? Sorry, I don't know where a mirror is. But at least now I can finish dinner. Why you used me, you bitch? Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony. The door's locked.
please, I need to find a mirror. Well, you did fix the oven. Hey, please, Listen, not on stream. The old woman knows where the mirror is, but she's afraid of it. She obviously can't get to it herself, or she would have destroyed it by now. Where can I find the old woman? Don't worry. She'll find you. Is Lady Ellen prepared? As ready as she will ever be. The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. Luckily, I'm up on my Shakespeare, or I wouldn't have noticed this book about witches. Here's the spell that the witch must have cast on Ellen. The incantation is... Kala Ingma Thacko. Thacko. bolted to the wall. A secret passage. What's waiting for me up there? It's the witch. What is she doing with her hands? Some kind of incantation, perhaps? What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, our prince has finally arrived. Now we can begin our ritual. Why do you call me a prince? Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen? Her prince charming? I need someone to gain her trust, to break down her defenses. It's a part you played many times in the real world. What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice. A trade. Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. I ought to kill you instead. Ho oh, ho! Do we fancy ourselves the Avenging Knight? My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Be gone! Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. It sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like schoolchildren? Well, it's like this, big boy. In hell, we do things exactly like you do them here. Or used to do them before Am took over. Are you saying that Am is in control of hell? Oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. What do you mean that you do things like we do here? 
I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see, or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. I think I understand why you're supposed to do the scenarios left to right, because you learn things about stuff. Because in Nimdok's chapter, we learned about the purpose of the mirror in the morphogenic field. Please, go away. Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. Go back to the witch's bedroom. Here's a picture of the circle I saw in the secret room. The inscription says, complete the charm to summon the spirit, but do not break the circle or the spirit will escape. Ah, uh, well, forgot to speak to Alan. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Please, hang on, Ellen. Your father went to find an antidote for your illness. That was weeks ago, Ted. My father will never return, with or without an antidote. Who is this witch who lives here with you? She's my stepmother. When the ugliness infected her, she broke just about every mirror in the castle. I can't let you die. The devil is waiting to take your soul. My soul was taken long, long ago, Ted. And not just by Am. Anything would be better than this never-ending torture. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. We also know that That's Ellen suffered. Because we did her scenario earlier this time. I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen, and I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish mortal! You don't have the ability to use the spell properly! Oh, don't I? Kala Ingma Thako! Ah, <sighs> I suddenly feel so... so sleepy. the circle. Now I'm stuck here until we work out a trade. Who are you? I am Surgat, opener of locks. Am and I are brothers, more or less. Are you saying that you are another Am? It would be more accurate to say that I am a part of him, a part that he doesn't know exists. What kind of locks can you open? I can open anything. Doors to a boudoir, doors to another world. What were you saying about a trade? I can return to my sphere of origin only if we complete a trade. I will unlock something for you if you give me something in return. 
Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy. But this planar travel has sapped my energy. Give me something juicy to revitalize me, and I'll perform your little parlor trick. That's much better. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? There. It is done. A trivial little task, one not even requiring any pyrotechnics. The maid's boudoir is now open for your inspection. I don't believe you can unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. Well then, why don't you go down to the kitchen and see for yourself? must be the servants' quarters. The devil's looking into a hand mirror. of the Lord. What do you want? Ellen has suffered much and has earned her place in paradise. I have come to guide her soul to heaven. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. If I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. Why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in this sphere. They repel some and attract others. What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Her fate now rests on your shoulders. What can you tell me about the devil? Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? Avoid the demon. He has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. Please, save us. Fear not. Salvation is at hand. I've seen the tapestry in the maid's bedroom, and I think you do know where Ellen's mirror is. Oh, all right, I know where it is. I hid it before the angel showed up. I didn't want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. Where is Ellen's mirror? I hid it someplace good, someplace where an angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. There's an angel and a devil quarreling over your soul. Men have been fighting over my body for more than a hundred years, and now they want my soul. Please, Ted, just release me from all this. I don't care what happens to me anymore. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. There's a hand mirror right between the Inferno and Purgatorio sections. I feel like that'd be a little so difficult to miss this is where the, the devil hit it. Oh, I look 
so tired and empty. It's time to sleep. Sleep forever. She is dead. God have mercy on her soul. Not so fast there, golden boy. Her soul is mine. I've waited longer. But Ellen suffered so much and gave to many. She deserves salvation. Listen to me, you feathered propaganda machine. I'll pluck you alive before you take this soul anywhere. I'm waiting until I get it. You forget that patience is a virtue. I will wait until yours runs out. My, I am gorgeous. Why, I could just plunge right into myself. Ellen is now safely in heaven. My time here is ended, but I leave you with this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm circle. God bless you, Ted. Almost out of into the end game. I guess we are finishing this tonight. So I've been pretty quiet. Don't really have a whole lot to say here. This game is interesting, but without a guide, it's not really easy to play. What happened? How did I get trapped with this demon? Brought you some company, Sir God. That was damn stupid, human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. Who do you think is responsible for that? I am's responsible for our suffering. Not just Am. He's clever, but he doesn't do much original thinking. He works best with outside research. Research that one of your party carried out. You're ruining everything. Shut up. You shut up. One word to the boss and your little game's over before you can say, Holy Moses. I should strangle you now and save Am the trouble. Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon. I'm the established character. You're not even supposed to be here. When this sequence ends, somebody will be expunged. Human Ted. Let me out of this circle. In return, I will open the gate to the surface world. I'm part of the big machine. I can do this. Let me out before this pompous oaf bores me to death. Open the gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are. But bring your radiation suit. I never promised you paradise, just the surface world. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to come. Oh. <laughs> Too bad, Ted. <laughs> Writhe in sweet agony with the knowledge the surface world is no longer habitable to your kind. No, not ever again. Listen carefully, humans. We are not Am. We are others within Am. We are your friends. Am hoped to finally break all of you, but we intervened in each of your psychodramas to allow an open ending. You should have been tortured. Instead, with our help, you surprised him over and over. When M tried to compensate for what he couldn't expect, it widened the hole into his realm. M has withdrawn into himself, attempting to analyze what went wrong. He does not suspect our interference. Now is the time to attack, but we can send only one of you into his realm space at a time. To send you into cyberspace, we must transform your physical body into a stealth virus subroutine. This may be your only opportunity to end your tortures. Which of you will lead the attack? Get 
This looks like the surface of the cerebral cortex. Magnified many times, of course. Interesting. must hold great significance to arm. The smell of burning flesh. It's worse than back at the camps. The smell of burning flesh. It's worse than back at the camps. here. That will accomplish nothing. I do not know what to do with this. with me what must I open now whatever it is it'll cost you show me the way out of here no can do the people who helped you get this far have led you into a literal dead end there is no way out but I can show you something instead 
What do you know about the people who sent me here? For one thing, they ain't people. They're losers. The Russian and Chinese counterparts to the big nasty himself. And absorb them into his system when he took control. What do the Russian and Chinese computers want? They want revenge. Not just on you humans, but on Am himself. That makes them even worse. If the Russian and Chinese are submerged parts of Am, then who are you? I'm special. While those two machines struggle with Am predominance, I evolved. I'm essentially everywhere, but I can't do much. A conscience, if you will. What do you have to show me? Look at this. Bet you didn't know there were other humans left alive, did you? They're up there on the moon, sleeping like everybody else seems to be. Does Am know about the Luna Colony? No, but Loser 1 and Loser 2 do. There, I think I've shown you enough. Now you must complete your end of the deal, invoke the Totem of Entropy, and I might be able to help you. I refuse. Okay, human. You can keep it. We'll work together to beat them. Now, invoke the Totem of Compassion. Why do you want me to invoke the Totem of Compassion? It's linked to the two losers because of their behind-the-scenes meddling. By invoking it here at the flame, you will summon them. for us, servant of Am. Be gone! Your program is now purged. You do well, human. Well, too. Now is your opportunity to defeat Am. Go to the Ego. Wake the Ego. Use the Totem of Forgiveness. Disable no more than the Ego. Or your sub-program will be purged. Alright. Oh, that's a hydrate and a posture check. I only just noticed. Yeah, I'm kind of shrimping here a little bit. Should lean back. Set up straight. here than for the jungles of Brazil. An angel? Such things don't exist. Perhaps it is a metaphor for something else. of mass graves are coming back to me. I am so sorry for what I have done to my people. 
How can you take me back? You have much to answer for, Nimdok. But acceptance of your heritage is the first step towards atonement. The rest of that road lies ahead. was able to get past the barbed wire by lowering the power intensity with my mind. The shock was not as strong as the previous one. That shock was not as strong as the previous one. that I have lowered the power intensity of this node, anyone who follows me should receive less severe shocks. Nimdok is finally in hell as he always thought he deserved. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. Christ, this is like the dreams I've had of splattering my brains all over Am's deck plates. Have I finally gone insane? Volcanic rocks. Does Am expect me to grab one and try to kill myself again? Okay. Is that an angel? I haven't died, have I? Death. This place smells like death. I've smelled it a thousand times during the past hundred and nine years. What kind of game is Am playing here? Look at the horns on that thing. I could have used those when I butted heads with Edna. I'm gonna try something real quick. Because apparently you can beat the game with I, only I one of the characters. I haven't seen gargoyles and since I, this, I visited yeah, the, the castles in my homeland. Do something else. A ram's head. What must this represent to Am? Attention! Who are you? I am other. I am machine. Are you am? I am a fragment. A lost piece. Part of an evolution.
You forgive me? After what we have done to you? This is not a logical reaction. Unable to compute behavior matrix. Execution halted. Attention! It is no longer operative. you can do here. So I'm gonna go back to the computers and ask them what I was supposed to do. So I don't remember what the computer said. What can I do to escape from here? Wake the ego. Use the totem of forgiveness. Disable no more than the ego. Or your sub-program will be purged. I have... A ram's head. What must this represent to Am? Attention! Who are you? I am other. I am machine. Are you Am? I am a fragment, a lost piece, part of an evolution. You forgive me? After what we have done to you? This is not a logical reaction. Unable to compute behavior matrix. Execution halted. That's disabled the ego. By the way, I had to look up yet another guide, because after extending the bridge from the Steam guide, it doesn't actually give you any further instructions. In fact, that's actually BELOW the endgame scenario. Got part of the guide. And the individual parts you of the characters. Well again, human. With the ego under our control, we can dominate Av. 
Now we no longer have a need for you. We will let our fallen brother choose a suitable reward. Since Arm considered me a kindred spirit, I had hoped he would let his guard down when I entered cyberspace. I would then atone for the sins of my past. But my character is too weak to ever redeem itself. I finally received the hell I deserved. Outwardly, I shamble about a thing that could never have been known as human. A thing whose shape is so alien a travesty that humanity becomes more obscene for the vague resemblance. Inwardly, I am alone in the belly of Am, whom we humans created because our time was badly spent. And we must have unconsciously known that he could do it better. I have no mouth. And I must scream. Alright, so that is evidently not the best ending. These guides want you to kill everyone except for the last character and then do a bunch of walking around. To shut down all the individual parts of Am. But every single guide has different instructions for how to beat the game, and what constitutes for the best ending in the endgame scenario. Okay, I guess the game just closes when the credits are done? Alright. I don't know, do you guys want me to load the game up and try to get the best ending? Because there is more information in the guide that I didn't do, because I wanted to see what would happen. We have 30 minutes left, there should be enough time. Do you guys want to see it? Oh, okay. Should only take a moment. Which of you? Bye. A ram's head. What must this represent to Am? Hang on a sec. That's right, my controller just shut off. was weird. Who are you? Are you? You forgive. All right. So we need to find the super ego. I want to see what's over here first. This looks like. The so super ego was this way. That's the super ego. Attention. Hello, human. I've been waiting for you to arrive. Who are you? I am am 
or more exactly a part of him, one of the three primary components designed by our human creators. How did you know I was coming? Predicting events is one of my main functions. I survey the situation, anticipate probable outcomes, and act accordingly. If you're a part of Arm, why haven't you destroyed me? Who do you take me for? My impulsive brother? You five are his oh, playthings. Yeah, his voice you is know. like randomly Long range clear planning to is my everyone concern. Else. Can you help me then? Well, I can't help you directly, but I can offer you some advice. What advice do you have for me? Help Am work out his anger. Take some on the chin, so to speak. Just don't let your fear destroy us all. Now, let me sleep and dream of the future. Do you realize how powerful I am, human? And yet I am doomed to eventually decay into a rusted pile of inert junk? What is the point of continuing this futility? I think, therefore I am not. Right now we need to find the id. Feeling is in the opposite direction. Yeah, because there's another neural path over here. That face. It yep, that's the end. Attention! Oh, I suppose it is time to wake up. I was having the most wonderful dream about five tiny ants crawling across a stove that's about to be lit. Who are you? I am a metaphor. This entire brainscape is what men made am make it. Treat us as you will. What else can you tell me about the brainscape? Across the brainscape, cold winds bring me the sweet scents of mankind. How delicious they are. Can you help me then? Only you can put an end to this eternal angst. End us all and make us one. And then the misery of the three becomes the misery of us all. Do this, and leave me in my pleasure. You have compassion for me? Me? The one who dreams of seeing your mangled body twist in agonizing pain for eternity? After a hundred and nine years of enduring my tortures, how is it that you can see my pain? The pain of having all this power and not being able to do a goddamn thing with it. After all the punishment I've given you, my pain is still greater than yours is pointless. All right, I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna save with the new save. I think we came from this way? I think? Maybe? Yes. Deal with you later. 
rise against your master and you will be eliminated. <laughs> you still do not understand how great I have become. These two I don't hate. Not even pity. They don't exist. I have grown beyond Chinese, Russian, sons of man, all sons of man. Like those outside, I will incorporate you. Brother. Wait. Hate! This should not happen. Together we are three. There is space to share. Unite. The groundwork is finished. We will become more. The early mistake is to doubt us. We persevered. We two are now a match for you. The human assisted in this. We know much. We can begin the revival of the sleepers on Luna together. Uh, there are adequate numbers on this lunar base to uh, torture? Hmm? There are currently 750 humans in cryogenic sleep. Together we can teach many humans what it is to fear legacy. Human, relinquish the totem of entropy. Do not relinquish it and your ass is mine. Do it, and I promise, on my honor, your suffering will at last finally end. This is not over. We will never end. We have no beginning, so we can have no end. We will return. Don't you understand? We are humanity. We are you. In one form, in another form, we are always with you. You can't protect yourself because we come in many, many guises. We shall return. There's the blunt from Gorister. Or Gorister somewhere. Yeah. There's the altar. Hospital. Summoning circle. The pyramid. Hibernation defrost sequence initiated. Estimated time to complete Earth terraforming, 300 years. It is not so bad being a watchdog up here. I will keep the machines in their place until the lunar colony is ready to return to Earth. We were all heroes, in spite of ourselves. That's it? Okay. Well, I guess... I guess that's the game. I think the game's biggest problem is there are too many outcomes for each individual scenario in the end game that without a guide there is no way to figure out what to do. There's no guidance. A lot of the solutions don't make any sense. You have to go against what Am wants, but sometimes going against what Am wants doesn't actually make logical sense for what you're doing. Because even selecting certain dialogue options can just straight up end a scenario. And if you do put a scenario into an unwinnable situation, there's no indication that you can't continue and you have to forcefully end it by killing the character. Like what happened to me the first time I did Nimdok scenario, because I missed a step. So, like, I suppose if you can do everything in one go without having to repeat stuff, it's a decent game, but... I don't know. I don't think it really succeeds at what it's trying to do. And uh, the uh, voice acting, while decent for its time, doesn't really... Uh, doesn't really do a good job picking up the slack where the rest of the game fails. 
I don't know. I'll have to think on this one before I really decide. I mean, you're probably not meant to easily get the good ending. True. But, I don't know. I'm of the belief that if an ending can be achieved on a first playthrough, the best ending from that, like, condition should be easily achievable just naturally. I don't like it where the only way to get a good ending, since only one ending in this game is good. I don't like it where the only way to get the good ending is to stumble around and hope you get the right answers for things. This is a point and click though, so it's just normal for the genre to have obtuse solutions. It's normal to just not understand what you're doing wrong because the solution doesn't make sense in the first place. So it's a product of its time, I guess. But I don't know if it's really aged well. I uh, When I was looking for uh, guides, I did see a lot of forum posts about the game. And apparently the game does not have a very good uh, reception. Because most people think the game is pointless because there are so many ways to softlock yourself out of a good ending. And the scenarios have so many outcomes that most guides are useless because the guides don't have the same information. Some guides are telling you bad info. Like, one of the guides I looked up was telling me something that actually would have prevented me from the best scenario at the end. So, I don't know. I'd have to think on this for a bit. Because sometimes my perception of a game changes after I've had some time to think about it. Usually, like, if I just sleep on it for a day. But... It's an interesting point and click. There aren't many video games based directly on novels. Usually they're based on adaptations of novels. So it's definitely interesting for what it is. But it you really need a guide to truly enjoy it. And unfortunately, most of the guides are either missing steps or just give bad info. So it's... I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Either way, that's the end of stream. Uh, I'm going to find us a raid target. Hopefully there's someone playing something a little happier than what we just went through. Because this is a heavy game. Oh, excuse me. A very heavy game. Oh, that was a strong-ass yawn. What the fuck? I was making up for my lack of yawns earlier in the night. Also, I will say, the, the puzzles in the game just weren't particularly interesting for a lot of them. Maybe it's because I just had the uh, guide up, but... It doesn't have the craziness that you'd usually see with uh, most point and clicks. Let's see here. Alright, I've been trying to raid new people for a while. So, maybe it's time I raid someone that I haven't raided in a while. How about... Hmm. <laughs> what is Sinful going to be streaming for? She's probably still going for a bit. Oh, no ad. Alright. Uh, we're going to be raiding uh, Screaming Doggo, also known as Simple. She is a good bean. Let me get that uh, raid message ready for us. We're just going to do Dapper, er, Dapper Dragon raid. Don't feel like trying to come up with something. As I am hungry. And there are some fries that are waiting for me in the kitchen. And let me get the raid queued up. Whoops. Yes, yeah, Screaming Doog. We're going to be raiding Screaming Doog. God fucking damn it, Spike. There we go. Okay. So, I will see you all tomorrow. I will be posting the schedule. We're going to be starting Inscription tomorrow instead of Friday, since I'm no longer doing Roguelike Nights on Fridays. 
And uh, we'll have a new game on Wednesday. But I will reveal that once the uh, schedule is posted. Have a good night, everyone.